Okay guys, so also last re okay, last replay that I uploaded was also on mines and this time again mines. This time it's Azirion, uh, Climate, and he's driving his T22 tier 10 uh, special premium Russian tank. And uh, enemy team, in enemy team there are only three, three mediums and uh, yeah they can take kill I guess. The bad jet got spotted and he's going for the island. Well, that is not really best option for for them, but okay, it's not bad because, of course, they they couldn't win kill even if they wanted because his team his team like they had three Russian mediums and uh, exactly there is no way that the enemy could uh, got to the hill. So now what can he do? Well, usual stuff. He can just circle around the hill, trying to get some uh, shots, that some targets, easy targets. Like he's going to try a blind shot here, I guess. Yeah, there. And that was a hit, because in the end, like, yeah, he he had one blind shot in the end. Now he can just relocate to this side, and then he can shoot this Tiger 2, or even 100, doesn't, doesn't really matter, but Tiger, yeah, tiger's, Tiger 2 is in the open. And that Tiger 2 is like brainless, because he's just standing there in the open with a rock next to him. He's not even trying to hide. So yeah, that's a, that's free damage, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Also, because this this game is going to be like 15 minutes long, uh, at some point I need to fast forward this replay, like just a bit, because uh, because I got that stri strike on YouTube because of that aimbot video. Uh, I got a strike because of that for some reason, and I'm still. Uh, Still, I'm still waiting for the respond uh, from YouTube for that counter counter notification about that copyright copyright strike, and because of that, I'm not able to upload replays longer than 15 minutes, and that's just perfect because not so long ago I started recording uh, gameplays, like for example, okay, I'm not talking about the game because right now this is pretty simple. He's just He's just in sniping positions, they have the kill like the most important part of this map and he's just farming damage on the on those poor, poor tank destroyers. So let me get back on the on talking about that uh, strike thing. So because of that I'm, un, uh, I'm unable to upload the replays longer than 15 minutes and not so long ago I, I started uploading... Uh, I started, uh, I mean I started recording uh, direct gameplay because my internet connection is too slow for me to to stream it's like one one I think it's 100 uh, kilobytes per second upload speed upload speed and I need like 350 for some normal streaming so that's why I started recording uh, gameplay like for example I play five games in E5 I explain how it's played and uh, like you know because I'm unable to stream and I just upload that direct gameplay onto the YouTube and usually that gameplay was long about 30 minutes for example like 4-5 games with E5 30 minutes and because of this strike I'm un un I am unable to upload that on YouTube so possibly I'm going to upload it uh, on my Facebook page so you guys also can like my Facebook page I guess uh, yeah just search, search the world of tanks Laponak and it should pop up. Okay, let's back on this game. Uh, so, as you know, T22 is awesome at back side scraping, like IS-3. Even if it's only a medium, and I, I am like 99% sure that they are going to nerf that eventually. But so far, you can just use it to side scrape like this. Uh, this E5, yeah, he made a mistake. So, so far it's 5, five to 4, Azerion, uh, Azerion fa farmed about 4.5k damage so far, 4.7 actually, he had that one blind shot on Indian, I guess, I mean, not Indian, the Mutz, yeah, so, again, it's like uh, pretty basic when you have the hill, you just, there is, you don't need any tactic, when you're on the hill, there is no tactic needed, you just need to pick, 
peek, uh, peek out on good positions where you know you're not getting shot and where you can deal some damage so just peek, make a shot, peek on the other side go back, relocate it's all about positioning like in this game it's all about positioning aiming like everybody can aim it's not hard to aim for weak spots but uh, not not everyone knows how to put how to put their tank right I guess so yeah yeah not, nothing interesting happening so far I mean I mean he he got some damage 4.5k but uh, I mean like that's all you're just he's just uh, going around the hill peeking around on right sides and like this type 5 he can just use this terrain here to be able to put his da gun down enough to shoot his top of the turret so yeah that's that's pretty much it when you when you have the hill like also uh, for example as I mentioned uh, in the last uh, video that I uploaded that was also on mines if this Type 4 and T10 like these guys if they go all the way up to that rock Azirian will be able to go to this rock here just peek around make a shot go back make a shot go back make a shot and go back but those guys are smarter than that and yeah this is why like now he can he can peek out and he can shoot the T10 or he can shoot this Type 5 Okay, he's going for type 5 but if he wants to pick again he is going to be in a bad position because the t10 is going to, okay now the type when like now when he is trying to pick on t10 the type is aiming for him when he is trying to pick for type the t10 is aiming for him also so uh, those two guys played like very good one stayed back one go to the front so they are not giving him a lot of chance to make any damage on them for now like so far he did two shots on that guy but that's about it for now like again type is aiming up he, he if he went just up like one more meter to the front he would be able to shoot the t10 but if he did that he would get a shot from the type so yeah it's all about uh, not taking too much risk they want to heal the I T110 E5 I think that that guy is... Wait, let me see Oh, that guy is uh, 1000 HP, so... Like now, let's see uh, Well, they kinda lost uh, the right side, I mean the right side of the map line 9-8, I mean there's still that medium and uh, that's... Uh, yeah, that's a super pershing that guy's that guy is not going to be able to stop that t10 in type so like uh, if uh, this jack tiger on k4 if that guy wasn't there he could be able like the, the best uh, best thing to do would be kill the c5 and like go to this rock here kill the e5 and then go from this side of that rock flank the E4 and uh, yeah just flank him and kill him with 3 shells I guess he's going back to the T10 and ok this 140 died for no reason what he could do now is go back to T10 and Type 4 and just uh, peek see what those guys are doing you know you have to check you have to check every site every once in a while because uh, there is nobody else that can spot those guys now, so it's his job. Okay, the type is here. Okay, this is. Okay, at least he knows that they didn't uh, go back or anything. But if he just waited five more seconds, he would be able to catch that guy. That guy was going for the rock. That guy was going forward, and that guy wasn't stopping until he saw Azirian. So, if Azirian only waited like five more seconds, he would be able to catch that guy and shoot him once. But of course, he had no idea how much he need to wait so yeah it was just bad timing I guess uh, yeah this C4 is now on two shots and Jack Tiger was last spotted on J7 so D5 is one shot if that E5 dies he can just go for E4 flank him kill him with two shots easy and then 
probably go like what what I would do is like kill that e4 after the e5 gets killed kill the e4 go for RHM like two shells two HE shells three three HE three HE shells should be enough for RHM and then go to Jack Tiger and go to the back of these guys like that would be my plan but let's see what uh, what is Azuri going to do okay the e5 died so now he's free to go to this e4 like nobody's supporting the e4 RHM is all the way down on uh, h3 last spotted so probably he is not like 100% he's not able to have the e4 anymore uh, only problem would be if, if the jack tiger goes back to the, his previous position oh yeah okay yeah uh, from that position jack tiger would be able to help the e4 but Azirion had a better position yeah this is a better option actually uh, so like four minutes till the end of the game and uh, Now what can he do? Like he's low HP, he's on two shots. If type shoots him once and T10, he's dead. Also check oh yeah, he's definitely two shots. So he's just peeking around trying to spot those guys again. He can spot them from this side, from the Yeah, from this side. There's the T10, but the uh, type, type was not spotted for a while now. And uh, maybe he's he's going back. Oh no, he's uh, now he's by that rock. Now he could go to that position, uh, like where that T62 is going by that rock. He can just peek around and make one shot, kill that guy easy. Yeah, type is now looking this way, or not? He's not looking that way. And uh, yeah, type is dead. So yeah, it was a one game now, of course, T10. Yeah, he got... Oh, Jack Tiger. Oh, he didn't see the Jack Tiger. But he was lucky because the Jack Tiger just hit his gun without damage. But yeah, he can't pan his, uh, his uh, armor around the gun uh, without, uh, without goal. Uh, now, this other gem here is... That guy is going to be a big problem if he if he stays alive because uh, right now the entire team was focusing on T10 and Jack Tiger and that other gem just went in their base and shot them from the back and that guy is using a big gun so still Azirion is not a one shot okay let me rephrase that Azirion now is on one shot <laughs> somehow he lost three, 365 HP you have no idea how that that wasn't even some big jump it was just uh, I have no idea but still he loaded HE so yeah one pen and that guy is that guy is done yeah just like that so I will just speed this up because those guys are still on the same positions and I have only like one minute and a half to record so yeah, the T10 on two shots, T10 is ignoring Azerion, Azerion is one shot probably on 14, like if T10 did a bit like high roll, uh, he would be able to kill, to kill him, but uh, okay, doesn't matter, Jack Tiger is one shot also, and the Jack Tiger is dead. So, that was like in the last 30 seconds of the game, and because I have less than a minute to, re to record, I'm going to like sum this up really fast so he did six kills that's top gun ace tanker high caliber uh nine thousand damage like uh, he had one blind shot on that uh moots i think yeah he definitely had one blind shot you can check the replays um the screenshots screenshots are in the description of the video so check those out as well and uh thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video